Okay, in this video, we are going to learn about a sequencer, camera animation, and final pictures for editing. The scene is ready. It was made specially for this course, the realistic rendering of their kitchen living room. Let's start. Go ahead here. Cinematics. Add sequencer. My kitchen hall. Let's create an additional folder. SEQ, that means sequencer. New level sequence. Now, name it like Kitchen Hall Movie. And save. You see this kind of window. But it doesn't have anything, so we can close it. Here is an icon. Let's see where it is. Here. Let's place it somewhere outside of the of the room. Together with other icons. Now let's edit. Open level sequence. First of all, you need to press this icon, a camera, and you need to take a needed position right away, because the first camera is going to shoot from this position. So let's place ourselves like this, and create a new camera and set it as a new camera cut. Like this. There is a camera created. Actually, Unreal has two cameras, a simple one and a Cine camera. Cine camera has additional parameters. It has advanced settings. We are gonna use this one. Okay, let's delete it for now. By default, they are frames from 0 to 150, but we actually need a bit more. When we press this button, there is automatically appears a camera cut and the camera itself. We can do it manually. Let me show an example. So you see, all of this appears automatically when we, press, when we press this button. But press it only once. Then we just simply add cameras. If you want to look from camera's perspective, press this or these buttons. Let's set the camera up. Select it. Here take... Uh, here we can choose different lens settings. Or just choose custom. 
Let's take digital film. Actually, 12mm is fine, but we need to move the camera forward. We need it to turn it off, if needed, to leave camera mode there is a special button there. We can click it and there is a small window, you can pin it. Set it so that you don't see the bricks like this. Let's see. Camera settings. It's better to have two screens because then you can just place a sequencer on the second screen. It's much easier to edit in this way. Okay, next. Focus settings. Here we can set up a focus. Turn on draw debug focus play option. Now select the area of camera's focus. We can make it closer to 140 for example. Don't forget to turn this option off because during visualization it's gonna appear from time to time. Remove this tick. Now change the location of the camera. First of all, we need to add a track. Now we can animate this position. First of all, put transform to zero, location, and move it to 150. Now add snapping 0 0.01 second, and like this. Now The fifth seconds, move your camera. Now it's like this. Like this. We need to create an additional key. Otherwise, you're gonna lose your animation. In order to turn on an auto key mode, you need to activate this icon. Key are going to be created automatically for those channels that already have ones. Now move it. You see, here are the keys. You also see camera's track. Fine. 
the leg bears. Let's check out our animation. No, this one. Play. Okay. Let's do a bit more. Pull this red slider till, for example, eight. And this composition, cine ca cinema camera actor, can also be increased. These last keys should be replaced to the eighth second too. We can use the right mouse button for moving, or like this. or you can increase or decrease the area holding holding control and scrolling a mouse wheel okay let's take about 30 seconds Press here, next to this arrow. You can type 30 for the end, but the maximum is 25 for some reason. That's because we need to define 30 here and only then change settings to 30. That's... okay. If there is no limit, Unreal Engine doesn't understand it. For example, I cannot put 1000 here. Ok, 30. The first camera is ready. Now create an additional camera. Don't press here. We need to create it from scratch manually. Let's place our camera here. We can remove this window. Oh wait, it's this one. Rotate 90 degrees. Set it up. The values are digital film and 12. No. 30 is also too much. Twenty-four. No. We need to choose custom here. I'm sorry. I get confused. Oh, here it is. 24. Now we need to set up the focus distance. 240.
it will do let's move a camera up uh, upward a bit let's change current focal length to 18 and again remove the tick of course you can set up the way you want now we need to add the second camera here press plus camera and here it is cine camera actor 8 if your slider is on zero or something like this then it's gonna look like this then you can move it to the eighth second So, how many seconds? Let's do 5. Overall 13. Move here. Camera is here. Again, add track transform and location. Wait, not this second. Move it to the end of composition. Okay. The key was created automatically. Now, let's check the whole composition. Now press play. Now create the third camera. We can do it a bit quicker because we already know how to do it. Move the slider to the end to avoid an ex unexpe unexpected cutoff. Let's leave from previous camera. Let's see what we are gonna visualize. This or like this they did earlier. Let's look at the clock because they are animated. So our work is not in vain. So Create a camera.
unpin this and pin this. Rotate for 180 degrees. Choose digital film. Leave the lens as it is. Place it like this. That's interesting. Thirty is okay. Let's see from camera's perspective. Two hundred forty. Turn off. Add a camera, tense, the camera is not moving. Let's make it shorter. Ready? Again, create a track, transform, location. Turn on the camera. Select. The final position is this. Let's change the starting position there. Press play. Like this. To avoid slow down of the camera in the end. We need to select the last key, press the right mouse button and choose linear. They became triangle triangular. Let's see how it looks like. Anyway, little slow down. Let's try to do the same with these ones. Linear. Now a camera has a constant speed. We can change these ones to cubic auto mode. Okay, the speed is the same. Now let's check the keys. The curve, we can set it up manually. We need to choose cubic interpolation user flat tangers
Let's check, maybe the result isn't as good as we expect. Yeah, some little shifts, not as beautiful as I planned. So, let's change it back. Linear to make the speed constant. Here, we will add fade in and fade out. We can do the same for the other cameras too. All the cameras are going to have a constant speed. Okay, let's not take our time. I think you can set the rest of the cameras on your own. It's clear now how to do it. I would like to add a second last camera that will show an endurance hole. Go here. Let's do this. Okay, digital film, custom, 12 is enough. Focus is 240, 200, unpin these, pin these, we are going to rotate it like this. We also can add this kind of movement. OK, sequencer, add a camera, track, transform, location and rotation. First of all, look down. Like this. In the final position, a bit more. Six seconds. It's 24. And camera. Now put it down. Not local axis but world axis a little bit more and rotate by local axis let's see what we have press play that's it The last camera. Turn off all the cameras here. Press and pin. Twenty four seconds. It goes it goes from here and goes a bit backwards. 
Cine Camera Actor, Digital Film, Lens Settings, 12 is OK. Let's put it like this. Actually, we can. Let's make it custom. Not 12, but 8. Here, here is also custom. It doesn't want to change to custom like this eight twelve it goes back anyway for some reason Let's choose universal zoom. We can do it to cover a bit more space of the scene and a bit closer. Let's change it to 10. Turn on draw the back focus plane. 240 and 0 no 240 or 200 yeah like this remove the tick now animate your camera camera plus 14 Add track, transform, only location, move the camera to the 30 seconds and move it back. Like this. Let's see what we have. Think that everything is okay. It's ready. Save it. Save all. No. Press here. Select all and press play. Oh, oh, wait, we need to move the slider to zero frame, then press play. Let's check, and then if everything is okay, we can add some effects like fade maybe blur yeah I like it now let's add fade add track fade track if it's one, the fading is maximum. Add the key for zero frame. 
till 0.20. A value of the key should be 0. Let's see. No, too fast. Change it to 1 second to make a fading noticeable. Yeah, and we can add the fading in the end. Fade and zero. To make it imperceptible while the cameras are changing. Let's do it everywhere. One, zero, I think I'm breaking all the cinematographic rules. Because I'm just showing you the technical side of this editing. All you need to do in the beginning is to get your hand in, and then you can be as creative as you want. And the fading in the end. Zero, key, and one here. Yep. Actually, we can delete these keys. Now, let's add an effect for this camera in the end. The, no the camera number is 14. What can we do here? Let's go back. Not this. Let's work with blurring. No. I'm sorry, I forgot some details. Let me see my previous scene and check how I've animated with blurring. kitchen final. Let's check the last camera and its settings.
manual focus distance fifty fifths what do we have here all in I don't understand. Something happened to these cameras. Let me check. Actually, we have the first camera here and it has blurring effect manual focus distance 19 in the beginning then 500 let's try to apply the same settings the same things Manual focus distance is 200. Track is added automatically. And the key is added. In the end, here's 19. It's blurred and fade it we can do the same for the first camera it is a camera number 6 let's move it here Six. Add manual focus distance. Add one more key and change the value to nineteen. Blur and then it's okay. We can shift it a bit to make it a blurring effect a bit longer. Okay, I would like to set blurring for the second camera too. Add a key here to focus on the wall. Okay, everything is ready. Let's check it without any icons. Yeah, something like this. Let's save. Press save all. Now press this icon. 
render this movie. We can render it as a video, but it's better to render as JPEG files. Frame rate should be 30 and resolution can be whatever you want. I will choose high definition. Compression quality is 100. Output directory is kitchen hall. No, I would better create a new, a new folder on my desktop. Choose a folder. File name format is kh underscore movie. The rest we should leave as it is. Animation. Here we can out 30 to warm up frame count and delay before warm up is 3. These two functions help to prepare your video card for outputting. Press capture movie. Here you can watch a preview. Just watch and wait. and ready. Now find the folder and open it. Let's check something. U usually in the beginning or in the e end there is an extra frame and I have to delete them but in this case everything is okay. Now open After Effects or whatever program you use for video editing. You can close this. Close, close and save all. Now open After Effects. Choose the first frame and turn on JPEG sequence. You can add music. You can add some effects, color correction whatever you want. Let's see. Let's play with curves a little bit. Whatever you want. Now to output it Open Composition 
add to render queue. I usually set it up like this mp4 underscore snd sound Press OK. Save it on your desktop and render. Don't forget to press caps lock because it speeds up your rendering. If caps lock is turned off, you can see the preview but rendering is slower. Here is the result. You can make this kind of presentation for your interior designs. So that's it. If you have any questions, you can ask them. I will answer in the comments or prepare a special video. That's all. You can put thumbs up or follow if you want. You have a choice.